Right, San Marcos is in shock after a Texas state student and her boyfriend were killed. The story has evolved all day long in San Marcos. Uh, the police there found 23-year-old Daniel Stilwell dead this afternoon of an apparent suicide. That following the double murder of 22-year-old Haley Nichols and 27-year-old Jesse Robledo overnight. Police say Stilwell did it. Angie Bevan has new reaction tonight from San Marcos. After a very active overnight and early morning here at the apartment complex throughout the day today and on into the evening, it's been pretty quiet. Now friends are learning how this double murder and suicide all unfolded. The suspect, Mr. Stillwell, has apparently killed himself. Police found 22-year-old Daniel Stillwell around noon. He drove his car off a cliff in Comal County. Earlier in the day, San Marcos police say the Texas State student broke into ex-girlfriend Haley Nichols' apartment. Nichols, also a student, was upstairs with her new boyfriend, Jesse Robledo. That's where police say Stillwell shot and killed the two. College friends shocked to learn what happened. They were always really nice and they never seemed to have problems or anything like that. And again, to hear Stillwell took his own life. They know they know him, it's a small town, so everybody kind of knows everybody, so that's why once we got the text, we were just kind of like surprised and shocked that everything was going down. And a little more on how police found Stillwell. They say he lived in this apartment complex in a different building. They say he had called his roommate saying he hurt his girlfriend. Well, police were able to track those cell phone calls and knew where to look for him. Ultimately, it was DPS troopers that spotted the car. Police say he had injuries to his head, but they couldn't tell us yet if those were from the self-inflicted gunshot wound or from the crash. They say Stillwell did have a gun in the car. Reporting in San Marcos, Angie Bevan, KXA. And news.